Well, Andrew was a true old school player. He was brought up with a, with a very fine junior coach who still believed in the value of volleys, and you hardly ever see volleys these days. And so he, he developed a, a, a wonderful temperament, a sort of um, guts about going after tennis. He thought of himself as a sort of a, an Ohio player that, that maybe couldn't stay with the Nash, guys in the national limelight, so he developed this kind of drive and go get it. And uh, he just, he got better. He was, um, he was a relentless competitor. He would just, he was easy to, easy to coach. The story that I tell about Andrew is that he would, he was so easy to coach because he would come up to me in between games. He'd say, Dave, you know, it seems to me that this guy is doing this and doing this, and if I did this and this, it might work. What do you think? I'd say, Andrew, that sounds great. Okay, I'll do that. And then he'd go off and do exactly what he'd already thought up and would look great. He had a different way of playing. Stylistically, he had a way of attacking people that just made them feel very small. Um, these great ground strokers that could just hit the pants off anybody else who was trying to ground stroke it, he would get in, he'd slice a guy short, and he'd come in and pick off a volley, and he just was, he was physical and strong and relentless. Andrew is a, is, is, is a born teacher, and I like to think of myself as a teacher. And so coaching is, is, is uh, exhilarating with him. He's wonderfully enthusiastic. He um, does a great job with our recruiting, builds a lot of relationships. And, and so there's a wonderful combination, sort of the old and the new. Not that I'm saying I'm old, but, but, uh, but it's a great combination. It's just really fun, and, uh, and, and I think our program is reflecting that.